What's good, everybody? Thank you for joining me here. This is Kyle with day five of the 90 day YouTube challenge. Um, as I reflect on sort of my past and what kind of brought me to this path to where I am here today. Uh, yesterday, I talked a little bit about the afterglow of that big LSD experience and my first big synchronicity that kind of opened me up and started um, allowing me to question what was really going on here. And um, yeah, I was kind of blown open by that experience. And uh, once the afterglow faded away, uh, some of those old patterns and behaviors of my old self started to settle back in. But I was fundamentally changed. You know, all I wanted to do was get back into that same space of transcendence. And I had this phrase, spiritual awakening, kind of ingrained in me. And I felt like I had it all figured out. You know? This is when I sort of started to develop this sort of spiritual ego or this subtle identity you know, that I knew more than others and that this material world wasn't good enough. I became obsessed with all things mystical and spiritual. And as I said, I got very into Ram Dass's work I read uh, Paramanza Yogananda as I started practicing Raja Yoga and Kriya Yoga. And, you know, I even looked into some of the New Age ideas. This was back in like 2010, so a lot of these New Age YouTube channels were popping up and being kind of spread around. And I became obsessed with this idea of the ego versus the soul that the voice of the soul was this place of silent knowing and that it was just this babbling voice in the head, this ego mind or a false sense of separation that was blocking this sort of flow of perfection. And uh, even though Ram Dass himself warns against this, it really started causing me to start to repress a lot of my own true thoughts and emotions. I fell into the trap of spiritual bypassing, using these ideas and experiences to ignore and to deny my own shit and my own negative judgmental patterns within my mind because I thought I was above that now. I thought I was better than that. And this sort of created a schism within my own being. You know, I used to be really into metal music and some of the, I was, you know, had this sort of darker aesthetic and I completely shifted that. I started becoming obsessed with the, the hippie counterculture and started dressing in tie-dye, started changing my music tastes. And um, yeah, I became obsessed with this theme that everything was all good, that good karma and these good vibes and good experiences just flow effortlessly. We, again, it's just that over-conceptualizing mind, that thinking mind that kind of blocks that flow. And my kind of new perspective and research was certainly allowing me to become more aware of the atrocities and the problems of our society. As I sort of started to reject that sort of status quo and this cultural story that we've created for ourselves. But on the other hand, I really started to push too much against it. And I started developing this idea that, you know, money was the root of all evil, which I think, you know, looking back on it, this was a pattern that, you know, was not a good thing to develop at that time, just coming out of high school. You know, just moving into college when I was supposed to be working on developing a career. And instead I was, you know, ingraining these ideas that, you know, career and money and business and all that was bad. And so I started to, you know, push all that away. I also started isolating myself because I was obsessed with this sort of silent place within my mind. All I wanted to do was be quiet. I wasn't talking as much to other people. I wasn't really opening up. Again, I was really denying my own self, my own thoughts, my own emotions, instead of just you know, being myself and just being open. And so, yeah, these were probably the two main pr 
programs and patterns that I begin to ingrain and develop this sort of denial of my own thoughts and emotions as well as this rejection of business of money and society in general and so yeah I think that's a good place to stop for today um, so just a reminder that you know when we do get down the spiritual path to to honor this material world and this is something that I think a lot of the Eastern traditions especially Buddhism um, but as well as sort of the spiritual traditions in the West such as Christianity um, I think this is where they go wrong is when they start to sort of deny the material the sensual world the feminine um, and start to say that it's an evil or a negative thing that we need to transcend. And this is why I've been much more aligned with Taoism and shamanism, you know, recently. Um, because they honor the feminine. They honor this embodiment and this physical existence. And they bring down the spirit into the body rather than try to leave and try to transcend. So I just wanted to thank you all for listening. Thank you all for joining me on this journey uh, with much love and light. May peace be with you.